Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Mercus and today we're playing more Hearts of Iron 4. So, let's get started. So, continuing the Germany campaign here, we are on the cusp of uh, invading the Soviet Union. Let's see when I'm going to pull the trigger, but uh, I'm thinking that will probably happen this episode. I also quite realized that um, because Canada's acting on the axis, I need to get some uh, troops over there to actually be able to in with the the US. Um, I don't think they're gonna have too many troops in the borders and stuff. So that's the thing. War plan yellow. Okay. So, I want to say that the US has a possibility of, um, like, declaring war against us. I'm not sure if they will, though, given that they are actually fighting the Japan, but, uh, I don't know. They have taken some stuff here. I don't think, uh, yeah, they don't, I don't think they start with Iwo Jima, so, um, hmm. Okay. But yeah, so we're going to have to basically just go and uh, get some troops over here. And defend this. Um, I think I'm gonna start the invasion there and then we'll like take a look at that. Also, why am I using negative 126 convoys? <laughs> uh, so we have used 3000, or we have 3263 convoys and we can use 3389 of them. That fixes itself again. Paradox and running errors, man. Okay. Uh, tech wise, it's 43, which means we have a whole bunch of stuff we can do. Uh, we actually can get better armor, in fact, get the best medium tanks. Me as well. Bonus them as well. Okay. Not paid line assists. Oh, interesting. I'm not gonna actually. Wait, what? They will not accept. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. Uh, don't have anything. Okay, air doctrine we have actually finished on, so that's nice. Uh, I would love to max out like the land doctors stuff before we got to war, but what was it? Uh, I was also actually thinking about something. So we are of course right now starting to mass produce heavy tanks. And the reason I want to mass produce heavy tanks is because uh, I want to add them to the infantry stuff here. So basically just add a, a heavy tank battalion, remove all the infantry ones. The problem course with this is uh, we need 9,000 heavy tanks for that. So we're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. However, we could of course technically... I guess not have a division on that, but... We could of course technically like change one of these uh, divisions and I can make a new one which has like a tank division on it or heavy tank. I think for now that probably makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's do that. Just make a copy of infantry. This is going to be a heavy tank. So the okay. Uh, I'm going to remove that first land and save that. So the thing basically this gives us is it gives us HP organization is kind of unchanged, suppression, weight, doesn't really matter. Pretty heavy amount of uh, increased soft attack, pre very good hard attack, a uh, bit more defense, ton of breakthrough, a ton of armor, pure piercing, and then of course it, it uh, adds a little bit of hardness to it and some other stuff. So, I think actually this is going to be good. Uh, just because it's going to like, you know, 
Just basically means we can sort of have a bit more of a break for thing. And I'm gonna name this up here. Uh, so basically that's gonna, that's gonna be that. Um, I would love to probably just change all of them, ultimately speaking, but for now, because we don't have enough heavy tanks for that, I'm just gonna train like, can I train 50 of them? Apparently I can. Doesn't say how much that's gonna cost, but uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's cost. Uh, let's cost. Let's train uh, fifty of them. Now we just take a look at it. I could, of course, also start like uh, converting some of them, but for now we'll see. Okay. In here. I'm not quite sure what to do actually. We have pretty much enough fuel and stuff, so that's gonna be not gonna be super important. Or at least we just get better fuel refining. Um could actually start getting rockets. Hmm. Probably we want to rather just uh, this stuff there. Yeah. Right, that was the factories. Uh I think we should probably build more civilian factories. Wait. Okay. I'm restarting in quite uh, strong. <laughs> I just spammed out a whole bunch of infrastructure. And apparently I just all finished. Okay. Uh, one thing as well, supply mode. How much do we have in Berlin right now? 575. Oh! Right, it's uh, the cap itself is actually from all factories. Uh, so we should actually probably... Okay. Oh, you know what we could do? Well, I guess that's not going to make too much sense. We could just go like in a massive naval build-up. All the ones that are 100%. Let's max out dockyards. Uh, I prefer to actually fill the uh, like coastal provinces last with buildings, just in case we don't, I'm gonna start mass producing uh, workyards. Yeah, let's just do that. Queue up a whole bunch of stuff. We of course also maxed out the railways pretty much everywhere, just to make sure that we are actually prepared for this invasion. Uh, we're still strong down here. That bit. Oh, because you're not actually right, because you're not actually getting supplies from us. I can do that, I suppose. I'm not sure that's gonna fix it though. Okay. Yeah, so infrastructure, of course, gets some more fuel capacity. I think it also does a little bit of supply. Uh, but for it no longer flows from the capital, so like I think just sort of maxing out infrastructure in this area here are gonna be like helping a lot. I'm not quite sure yet. And unpause. I can't kick them again. Uh, actually, do you have? Um Right, so it is guaranteeing hungry. So what I was kind of thinking is like uh, we could technically kick out hungry ones and then just you know invade them, but I guess it's not going to work too well. I will of course be turning on the axis at one point, but yeah. Are we actually at this point prepared to go to war against USSR? I mean, I kind of want to say we probably are. Uh, and of course, also importantly, like, yeah, sure, we have, we have about twice the economy of them, but um, 
We're gonna have about 250 divisions, I'm gonna say. We have more divisions on the on the front than them. Yeah, I've actually started like getting some pretty decent org actually. For supplies and stuff. Hmm. They will be having divisions on Japan. But probably not a lot of that. I'm just kind of thinking maybe it would be nice to have a bit more troops, basically. I'm sorry if we could just spare it. Uh, yeah. Let's wait a little bit. At the very least, I need to like, get the remaining ones in. Pretty much already done all this stuff here. So I guess the really only thing is going to be... Uh, let's actually maybe get this. We can get the atomic research, which gives it just a uh, better research speed. Overall. Uh, I'm not sure if these two are too important. I guess there's like... There's a good one. So that. Then uh, put here. No, okay. Also, uh, of course, talking about naval stuff. Uh, now, creating variants of this stuff. I, I'm going to have to figure out some like uh, decent stuff there, basically, as well. Uh, I guess at one point we want to build like the ultimate subs, I guess. That's the thing there. Okay. We have 11 heavy tanks. Or, sorry, medium tanks. Uh, another 11 eyes. If you're gonna push through here, I guess we probably want something like... Uh, I guess a bit of a small push from here, perhaps? Perhaps these four which are provinces right there. An offensive line... We, of course, already have one here. Maybe we should just push up to like sort of the rest of this river like that and I can actually add another one so like that I suppose and then this army I'm a second if I can add another offensive line perhaps like there and the light tanks can just basically go and like push up to here. I think this is something you can do. And it's gonna prep these things and stuff. Entering Barbaros. Oh wow. Wait, what? Oh. Cool. So um uh, you said no divisions. Hmm. Offensive line. Wait, so that wasn't those. Uh, that was the medium tank. Yeah. Delicious. Hmm. Oh. Got it. I guess we may just have to like redraw them once they actually appear. We have another 20 light tank divisions here. What's by the way? How strong are those? So if this is five of them, that's gonna be between so divide by five. That's between one to six per. So it's probably only like one or two. So they're actually going to be quite low strength. I think actually we probably have significantly better divisions than them. Um, let's put them there. And then we'll offensive line up to here. 
So I'll sort of go out and we'll try to maybe encircle them a little bit. Can I now put a second one, perhaps up to that river there? Yes. Right, and this Ausdrucken. front, uh, army 12. Right, What's Ausdrucken. those? What are you doing? You're not actually doing anything. Uh, I guess then maybe you can just uh, do that. Yeah, okay. That's kind of that basically. Yeah, I guess we need like uh, one stuff here. I guess if you are gonna be the panzer stuff, do I have a panzer field marshal? Not a panzer leader, but like a panzer commander. Uh, these are generals. Can I give you? No, Panzer leader. Also, I like it if it mattered hugely. Uh, I can mi micromanage this stuff a lot better, but there's so much stuff I can probably micromanage a lot better. So, Super. okay, that's the light tanks. Do we want a token defense at, at against the US? 24 divisions. I mean, they're not going to do a lot against the US, or they might hold, I suppose, uh, if that. Maybe we can get some uh, wishing, I suppose. All right. It's just that, like, I'm not going to reinforce it over the land or like over sea, regardless. So it doesn't honestly matter too much. Twenty-four is going to be too little. Uh, let's just hold them for now, just in case this goes bad. And then, basically, like, you know, if it goes good, well, we can just send them over. That's going to be fine. Uh, we still have a whole bunch of planes in reserve. Yeah. Micromanaging this is going to be a pain. I am not going to worry about it. What I'm just going to do is just basically like... I'm just going to sign them. Uh, make sure to just have like makes some other sense. Uh, your superiority. That, but we're fighters. They're just gonna do something that makes a amount of sense, essentially. And we just simply won't worry hugely about it. Um, okay. Pretty much, of course, everything is going to be like in the same area, so the important thing is just going to be like, can you. Oh, like, can they. Uh, and stuff. Do you actually want to use tack bombers for this? Uh, you don't actually want to do. We want to put those, and then we want to actually put them on... I guess this strategic bombing, but specifically I want you to bomb land forts. And you could probably... Okay, I'm going to way back with that. Now, that's of course what we got right now. Enough. Oh, you know what we should do? Yes, okay. Uh, we have many, many thousand um, like planes and stuff as well. What we should do, and I think actually I'm going to focus this.
is just basically max out the airfields in this area. Yeah. Uh, let's cancel that and cancel that so we still actually will build those still. I'm not gonna worry about like. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna set up all the uh, air stuff off camera stuff. I'm not gonna worry about like um, you know, training them and stuff. They're just gonna do stuff. I think we're basically like, I figured we're gonna overkill this animation quite a lot. So yeah, which is actually quite nice when you don't uh, need to worry about uh, the UK. Three, that's the best one. Fast up those. Do I want more tanks here? Oh wow, we have really poor supply stuff. So the supply situation up here are actually kind of bad. Something we should probably also consider. Let's actually max out the naval base here. Uh, because there, well, there is a railway from Berlin up to here. It's just it's super long and it's kind of bad. Yeah, so we're gonna mostly just want to like take from here essentially. Yeah, like you actually want to upgrade bottlenecks because of. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why. Is that not up with you? Hmm. Right, I think the reason is because this is a naval base and it's like, well, there's no bottlenecks, right? Because it's overseas, but I'm gonna upgrade the railway. And you can do that, we just like uh, upgrade these numbers here. But it's just like, how good is that going to be? Yeah, if something goes over here, that should not be a max out connection. Everything is level 5. I guess like... In some sense it makes sense to maybe build a railway from here to up here. I don't know. Let's just play that. Let's put them on the top of the queue so they get built. We don't have logistics problems here no longer, so that's going to be, of course, quite important. Okay. Uh, let's get better anti-tank guns. How much more can we support here, actually? Not hugely more. I guess we don't really need that much uh, from them. Let's get another... Another 24 divisions. Actually, we're gonna do. Let's get another 24 divisions. There. You're actually only going to defend this front. Right. That's gonna be a real thing. Don't trips are that. No, I don't. Okay. Green dark yards. Uh, I stopped producing convoys. Let's start producing convoys again. Australia has capitulated. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait, New Zealand is... So we didn't actually annex New Zealand. That piece really was... <laughs> such weird. Uh... Sure, why not?
so they can take Athens really fast. Hmm. Ship's job. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah, at this point we were basically just... Uh, we were prepared, to, I'm pretty sure, to actually invade. Uh, do we have any stuff right now? We have rockets. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna actually hold on a little bit. Yeah, just a sure. Okay. Um, better construction... That's construction five. Where are this stuff? Switch five. Also, of course, I mean, at four oil, is that actually like something we can consider on do? I don't know. Okay. Mm. Let's just like. Conversion speeds. Is that something we're out actively doing? How do you do that? There's some stuff here actually, like, can't you assign military factors in that? I don't know how that works. If I go to infantry equipment. Yeah, no, there's a way to do it, but it hugely matters. There. Yeah, you know let's do Wunderwaffe, and I think we're just going to uh, pull the trigger after that. Okay, so the Switch Union currently has around 8,000 planes, I would say, to so cover the entire nation. And we now can actually have 8,800 planes. Uh, all of them are pretty much assigned to Operation Barbarossa. Actually, all of them are assigned to Operation Barbarossa. Which is kind of weird, because like, these things are attached to armies, but... Um, and also, of course, we need uh, complete control of uh, Baltic, so... That should all be fine. There's still some resistance, or quite likely, but... Uh, I want to say I probably have nothing, so I'm just going to go for next exit. I don't need that. Fort Crystal... Okay. I don't care about that for sure. Okay, let's get the uh, night vision. And let's get... Let's start actually getting some mechanized. Okay. Nice. Wonder of uh, as I said, I think we are now, in fact, prepared to go to war against USSR. I don't have to do it immediately, I can of course wait a little bit. This still only gives me the war go. This is start the war. Right, some we have an order. Right. Let's just sing a unit. Army 5... One casual fighter mission, okay. And we're also at peace, which is nice. Uh, doctrines. 
Well, I guess I won't get any better ones. So, uh, we have maxed out air doctrines. Let's go and get to the main for land doctrines. So, a lot there blow we're about. So, I guess we'll get that later. Okay. This gives us just research speed. Uh, probably won't worry too much about the new Excel today. Yeah, okay, started with this again. Uh, do we have naval parts sometime? No, we don't. Uh, should probably get one here at the very least. Yeah. Supply was. It looks like we are more or less fine here. Of course, this is just going to be because. Uh, or actually. I think they just straight up don't have the range is the problem. Yeah, we're kind of just lacking the range basically. Okay. I guess that will fix when we just capture some more uh, things. Uh, Another 20 medium tanks. Let's get those there. Uh, Army 16. Oh, you're actually sorry. Okay. And remaining seven. Honestly. Just go to the front line and I'm just gonna manually assign you. And I think actually you should probably go to the front line just. Because I think we are I think we have enough of equipment or supplies. Right, we still have bombers as well. Actually quite a lot of bombers. I just don't really think it's gonna really make sense. At least, right, because they're mostly strategic bombers. It's not something we really need transport planes. I haven't looked into that. The sunship is something actually we would like to have. Uh, and I think we can sort of take back them. What are you doing? Right, stockpiling. Right, that's up. Okay. I think we also have, yeah we do have everything here basically. Uh, I haven't found another of like you know uh, substitution here, so we'll just figure something stuff out. Just make sure everybody has plans. They have should have basic max planning bonus and all that stuff. This is going to be fine or fun. Anyway, so that's gonna have to be next episode because time is running out there. So yeah. Anyways, hope like the video. If you did, please leave a like. And so is thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.